What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Celtic Pride here and today I'm bringing you guys another Pro-Am gameplay. I told you guys that this was going to be my mode and I am determined to continue to show you guys that. And I wanted to show you guys a little bit of that, you know, opening walk into the Pro-Am scene. As you see right there, um, the team we're playing against had a little B thing going on. So um, that was pretty cool. Cool to see. But um, yeah, we're still rocking out with the Ravens, which we probably will be for a very long time. So, yeah, you're going to see us running out of the tunnel here, just like they showed on the trailer. Prime has been working pretty well lately. I don't know if you guys would say the same, but for myself, it's been working pretty well. Let me know how prime has been working for you guys in the comments section. Now, this video is going to be a little bit different than what I usually do. Instead of commentating on the gameplay, since it was a bit of a huge blowout, I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to be a successful Pro-Am team. Because my team, we were ranked number three in our region at at one point, And now I think we've dropped down to about number six. But we're still a top ten um, team in our region. So definitely taking tips from us is a really good thing to have. So yeah, first off, I'm going to tell you it's the most important part is size. You see right there, I just kicked it into respect right there for a dunk. It's really important to have a good big... Even if he's not a high overall, just the guy that can rebound and block shots and take up space down low. Next, you want to have another... Well, actually, no. We'll, we'll keep talking about the bigs a little bit. So, we've tried playing without a big a few times. We have still been able to get wins. But, you know, it's been a lot harder. You really have to gang rebound. And there aren't opportunities to get out on the fast break. Because all of you have to hit the glass in order to try to beat that big man to the boards. So, yeah, when you have a big in there, a guy that can, you know, take up space inside. It gives you the option to run out on the break like I just did right there. So, yeah, really important to have size in there. To have a guy that can control the paint for you. Or at least put up some resistance to the opposing team's big. Now, next, ball movement. I know that in 2K15, you didn't have to pass the ball too much because guys could recover instantly on defense, and all you really had to do was give it to one guy who knew how to do his moves and score, and that was about all you had to do. But this year, oh man, it's way, way, way different. So now the ball, just like in real life, the ball moves a whole lot faster than the defense does. So the best thing you can do on a team, especially a team that might not have the best one-on-one -on -one players at this point, is to move that ball around. The more you pass it, the more the defense is going to have to move around as well and try to react to plays. And the more open shots you're going to get for a lot of different players on your team in a lot of different situations. Alright, another tip. This year, you got to know when to take that three and when to step in for that mid-range jumper. Now, most of the time, what I try to do, I try to step in and take that jump shot just because it's a lot more consistent. And, you know, most of the time, the mid-range is going to be money on this game. You see Ace steps in right there. Didn't take the three, took a step in and knocked down the jump shot. But, yeah, as I was saying, you got to know when to step in and take those two-point jump shots because the threes don't fall with the consistency that they used to last year. And I'm very happy about that. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of got tired of the way patch 4 was working. And look at Ace right here, man. Right at the buzzer. Mm. But yeah, like I said, I, I kind of got tired of the way patch 4 was going. So it was really, really good that, you know, they toned down the shooting. And it makes you think about what shots you want to take. But if you are a really good shooter, I suggest hitting that corner. Now, it's really, you can't really hit the step back in the corner anymore, which is great. But you can spot up in that corner. It's a shorter shot. It's easier. And it will go in more often than the threes from anywhere else on the floor. So, yeah, if you want to if you wanna shoot your threes, man, the corner is your best friend. And another thing. Oh, look at that block right there chasing him down. And another thing that's really, really important is being able to play good defense. I know that a lot of people online, they don't want to upgrade their defense, but that is kind of what this Pro-Am team is predicated on. A lot of our offense comes from the turnovers we force and the stops we get on defense. So, yeah, um, it's really important to upgrade those defensive stats. Really, really important. 
I know a lot of people don't want to touch them, but they mean something. As you see right there, I get a steal. I have the pickpocket badge, but I also have a very high steal rating because of what I've been upgrading. I've been spending points on defense because it is very important. You see right there, I get another block and respect with the windmill jam right there. So yeah, I hope a few of these tips helped. I have a lot more. If you guys want to know on how to continue to be a successful Pro-Am team, I have plenty more tips for you guys. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, man, please drop a like on it. Subscribe for a lot more NBA 2K16. And also, before I go, I was thinking about doing something um, with you guys, my subscribers. For every new subscriber I get, I'll be checking and seeing who subscribed. And before um, my video, like right at the beginning of my next video, I'll be doing a sub hype section. And I'll be showing everyone that subscribed to me before this next video. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. You know, I'm really excited. I'm having a ton of fun playing NBA 2K16. And I'm going to be bringing a few more things to you guys. I have been doing some my team, but they've also been blowouts. So not going to post those. And I will be bringing you guys a my career update video because I am in my third season now. So yeah, catch you guys in the next video, man. Peace.